Okay, welcome back. So, in the previous part, after I floundered a bit trying to figure out what to do next, um, we are now in Mount Grinnell, or this general area. Um, <clears throat> we're, we're trying to get up to the summit where we can uh, both figure out what to do for the sword and uh, get the next piece of element. Leave the element of fire. All right. So, not every uh, bombable wall is going to be a very obvious um, uh, cracked wall. Like, uh, like that one was. Uh, we need to do this. We're also out of bombs, which is unfortunate. Make sure that that happens before we <laughs> trigger a cutscene. So, I'm actually jumping the gun here by doing this. So this perfectly normal looking stone was another portal. Yeah, pretty much anything that has that hole in the middle is going to be a portal. Again, I, I'm jumping the gun here. Uh, I believe we can actually talk to an NPC that will tell us about this. Eight touch damage. Because it's so easy to accidentally run into these guys. Alright. We need our bottle. Mount Crinnell mineral water in your bottle. Alright. Cool. Um, I don't... I don't think this is like, uh, Wind Waker, where you have to do it in a certain amount of time. Like with the, that's always one of my least favorite side quests. Um, when you have to, when you find like the uh, the Deku tree saplings, they I hate these things so much. Um, I don't know what these are supposed to be. If they're supposed to be like spider webs or what. But they hurt you on contact, and they're kind of the bane of my existence in this game. Because <laughs> it's so easy to just accidentally run into it. That's why, like, you should clear them away with the, the gust fellow thing. Oh. Okay, you got me. I'll make it up to you. Selling you bombs. Ten of them for 30 rupees. But, well, I only have three. So, um, four now, if you, if you prefer that. But, yeah, anyways, back to, uh, Wind Waker. <laughs> I love Wind Waker. Um, I'm, I can't wait until we get to that game. Because, other than Breath of the Wild, that's probably me favorite Zelda game. It's probably the one I've played the most outside of Breath of the Wild. Staple <sighs> enemy right here, Tektites. The, uh, the red variants. believe there's anything of value that's usually hide hiding underneath these things. Um, one of the side quests would require you to take a bottle of um, spring water from the, the Great Deku Tree and dump it on like a bunch of different saplings scattered throughout the world. And it's kind of an annoying one because um, the 
the special quality of the uh, of the water would go away after a certain period of in-game time. So you were on very much a strict time limit. Alright, so these things are impervious from the front, uh, unless you get rid of their iron mask, which you can use the the, the gust bellow thing for. Oh. Uh, you can attack them from behind. Uh, it's a little harder because they tend to move away too quickly for you to do, for you to do that. But that is also an option. Alright, give me a heart. Give me a heart. I don't know what the RNG is for hearts. Obviously, some pots have, like, scripted hearts in them, but those are very few and far between in this game. Okay, thanks, Elzo, for making me think the game crashed for a second. Hmm. Ah, of course, how silly of me. Jump into the whirlwind. Alright, that's what I was planning on doing before you stopped me, but thanks. Alright, let's get, get a little more air. Worst part about these things is the fact that they, they respawn at the time. Like, every time you uh, leave the area and re enter it, they just respawn. Hmm. Well, this looks suspicious. Bombs would be really nice right now. This is really the only point in the game where you're kind of hurting for bombs. Once you get, like, the, the larger bomb pouches, it's not an issue, but for right now... Alright. Yeah, and unfortunately these... Unfortunately, the... The tech tights are uh, immune to your to your gust bellow. Alright, we need to head up this way. Uh, let's go ahead and just clear some of this out. Never you, so you're not being an issue. Okay. I believe that's just something that we can enter while we're small. Right, let's go ahead and do our thing. I don't think those crystals would be that bouncy. <laughs> yeah, see, all this stuff just reformed. Huh. Hey, dude. Let's go. Water is life for crinal beans. The blue beans grow when you pour water on them. The green beans, like Mount Crinal mineral water. So, we essentially saved ourselves from backtracking by getting the uh, mineral water early. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and take care of this first. Okay, that's... As you can tell, the, uh, the Gus Bellows does not work. I know that's not the name of it, but that's what I'm going to call it because I... Uh... 
I think I did accidentally once. Uh, forget the pour this on the on the wrong thing. Did I do it again? Did I do? Did I seriously do it again? Shoot. I did. Right. That. Yeah, that, that happened to me previous time, and I don't know why. I... Just get stuck in an infant loop. Hate these bugs so much. I think it's because they don't get knocked back very much, and they take multiple hits. Let's do... let's take care of whatever this is. Yeah, it's a treasure chest. Ooh, I can... <laughs> the, the rewards get... so... I don't want to say uninspired, but, um... So... <sighs> lame, the farther you get into the game, because it's like... Great! Another kinstone. Okay, so yeah. That that same thing happened to me with the bean. I don't know why it happened that way. Because I... I mean, you saw. I poured it directly on there. Found only in, yep. Well, really, the spring is closer to the base of Mount Green. Yeah, I know. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get that taken care of. I'm, I'm not happy. <laughs> I remember having that same issue um, when I first did this part. I don't know why. Uh what the issue is, why it wouldn't accept the the mineral water, I'm sure I'll find out eventually. But yeah, that it it's just frustrating when stuff like that happens because there's no reason for it to happen. You no, I mean you guys clearly saw me uh pour it on there. So, I'll cut back to when I get up there. Okay. I I remember now. It's one of those stupid, dumb things that's not immediately obvious that you need to do. And I feel like this game has several of those instances. Alright. So, instead of it just growing in that spot, where, you know, it's sitting, uh, what you have to actually do is you have to pick it up, uh, which is only obvious when you're looking at the, the R button, and you have to take it over to this hole right here, and dump the water. Yeah. I feel like a dunce doing that like, forgetting that that's what you need to do, but also, it, I don't know. I feel like this game has a few instances, and that being one of them, where it's not immediately obvious what you need to do. Ignore these enemies. Hmm. Well, we don't have any bombs. That's annoying. Hey, we have bombs. We could maybe get some more bombs. That would also be helpful. Just want 
right off the screen. All right. I mean, oof. Thank you. Needed that part. Hey, Kinstone. Cool. I think the the word that I had been looking for uh, to kind of describe the treasure drops or the treasures in this uh, uh, in this game is unfulfilling. I think is probably the best way to kind of describe how I feel about some of the treasures. After, at least after a certain point, for sure. Alright. Making our way up. Alright. What do you say? Cranal Mines, Cranal Wall. I don't think we can actually do anything in the Cranal uh, Wall. Did I say Mall earlier? I, I think I said Wall, but anyways. So, like with most P-Hats, you can't actually hurt them while they're flying around like that. So you have to use the, uh, the Gust Bellow thing to... Uh, uh, disarm them. Right, what do we got here? Uh, okay. We should actually have enough money if he charges us. Grip ring. 40 rupees. Well, I can't really say no in this case. So this allows us to actually climb up those cliffs that we've been kind of seeing as uh, as we head up this way. So, like, up this way. Um, I'm actually going to head back down because I think there's something down here that we want. Uh, maybe. So I kind of figured that was be far enough. Um, I don't think there's anything this way that we want. I'm trying to remember where. There's a certain cave that I'm looking for that we want to find. I can't remember exactly where it's located. Alright, I don't think we can actually do this right now. So it looks like we're going to have to come back here at a different time. Later on, we will get a power that will allow us to essentially duplicate ourselves. I don't think there's anything that we can do up here right now. Let's head back down this way, now that we have the, the power grip. Void boulders. This is when 
having a smaller screen really doesn't help. Um, um because <laughs> the lack of upcoming vision. All right, here is actually where we're. No bomb throwing. They do not give you very much space to, uh... <laughs> Alright, so what you need to do in here is, uh, you need to, uh, place bomb. You can pick it up using the R and throw it into the spring. Welcome to the Adventure Spring. Did you throw the golden bomb into the spring or the silver bomb? Uh, answer truthfully. Neither. You are honest. I must reward such an honest adventure with some of my power. You got a big bomb back. Big bomb back. Now you can carry more bombs. Excellent. Yeah, once you get that, you're pretty solid uh, on bombs for most of the adventure. This, this can be so... You move so slowly. Like, I say that and I'm, like, dodging all of them at the moment, but especially uh, when they get really close to you, it can be very difficult to avoid them. Okay, those are the new blue tech tanks. Especially when you can't move around. I'm the Creno Hermit. I left the world to pursue a life of quiet reflection. You seem to be but a child, and yet you climbed this forbidding mountain. Or, yeah, forbidding mountain. I would have gone with foreboding, but sure. You must reward your courage with a little information. Have you not seen strange patterned walls as you climbed this mountain? Bombs! Bombs are the answer. Want to fuse kinstones. Um, I'm going to do this guy because he's kind of out of the way to, to find. And I'm pretty sure this is just, like, money. Or, oh, okay. It's a, uh, it is a rare monster. Uh, there, you'll find a few of them as you uh, use kinstones, and they're worth a lot of money if you kill them. They're very dangerous, though, so you gotta be careful when fighting. You gotta be careful when fighting these guys, too, apparently. And unfortunately, enemies really don't like dropping cards, I've found. If they're going to drop something, it's usually, um, It, it's usually, uh, um, rupees. It's dependent, I think it's dependent upon the monster, maybe. Certain ones will definitely, uh, drop. Uh, shoot. No. It's not what I want to do. It's this dumb pea hat that made me nervous. Hopefully he's disposed of. The game really doesn't like giving you what you actually need. They tend, the game tends to give you like excess bombs or money. Alright, and as we <laughs> cross over, and I'm sorry about the beeping, I it's unfortunately a staple of Zelda. Constantly have a, a little beeping sound. Okay, great. Thank you for stopping all of time and space for me.
I'm not sure why it's not <laughs> why it's uh, only an issue in that case. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. So we need to push this random boulder over to that random hole. It's going to be a little slow because i got to make sure that I'm doing this right. Plus, it's, you know, just inherently slow because it's pushing up older. <laughs> but, yeah, at this point, we're, uh, we're Alright, there we go. I think they'll regrow the, uh, the random nose horn thing. I wish I could see, like, the entire map here, because I don't. Okay, they are selective with uh, the directions they can push. So that at least makes things a little easier. You can't. You, you'll have a harder time screwing yourself out of uh, getting out of here. Alright. Trust me, I, I wish I could find some... <laughs> find another heart or something just so the beeping will stop, but unfortunately I just I can't. There's not much I can really do about that. Alright, there we go. Easy peasy. No! I hate it when those things are... Thank you, heart. Finally. to this a little lower health than I'd really like. Okay. Great game. Okay. And I didn't realize why they gave us those pots. Thankfully, they just reset. Thankfully, the enemies don't reset. Okay. No. Good. Alright. Alright. Let's try this again. Grab you. Okay. Very edge? Nope. Okay. Am I I'm missing something here? 
Maybe we need to throw like bomb or something. I thought you could hit it though with the with the pot. Alright, let's try a bomb instead. There we go. Not sure why they would give you those give you those pots if they're just, you know just for show. Great, money. It's not like I could use, you know, hearts. Okay. Alright, another boulder push puzzle. Let's see here. I think we need to go down, over, over, down, down. Let's do one more over, one up, one over, one up, and one up. There we go. Heart, heart, no, no heart. Oh. I'm sad. I'm sure that there needs to be a choo choo in there. Hey, cool looking stuff. getting close. I think once we get over to that little structure that we see right there, we'll uh... Alright, let's just uh, speed run through this. I don't feel like fighting all these things. Alari's mine. Alright, I think we're inside the structure now. Um, so this is the mine that we've been told about. Uh, so we can actually go ahead. Head down to the lowest level and talk with the boss. All right, and I think we're going to put a cut in here and we'll talk with this guy in the next part. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.